What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and in today's video we got a long distance traveler with a brand spanking new bike that we're about to fix up for him. We're going to take it from stock to modified right here in this video. Yeah, that's right guys. We got a 2023 ZX-10R. This thing is fresh and brand spanking new. Now the customer has been doing some heat cycles and some small things to break it in, but we are going to be putting this thing through the test today. He's got the factory exhaust system now, as you can see, and he also has a factory air filter. Basically everything the bike came with from the factory is still on it, but that's not going to be on it for long, guys. We're going to be putting on an M4 three-quarter exhaust system, a sprint air filter, and we're going to be blocking off the pair valve system. This customer doesn't want any pops and bangs, any gurgling. He's 76 years old, guys. Yeah, that's right. 76 years old and riding a brand hammer new ZX-10. This guy said he's been a racer his whole entire life. And he's here at the Go Fast home in South Carolina. That's a big deal because he's from Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, that's right, guys. He has driven this whole way from Phoenix, Arizona to South Carolina to see us, more mafia. And we're so happy to have him. You guys give him the South Carolina welcome. Let him know how glad you are that he brought his bike to us. Give us some support in this video. 76 years old, Rider ZX10. We about to make it happen. He wants this thing super smooth and sounding good. Let's see what we can do. Before we go ripping it apart, let's get a little sound clip of what this thing sounds like from the factory. We're going to... Ew. You can't even hear it running. Sounds like my truck right there. Super, super quiet. Yeah, we've all heard stock ZX-10s before, but we're going to take this thing up inside, rip it apart, and see what kind of sound we can get out of this thing by just installing an exhaust system. I'm also going to show you guys a cheap, easy way to block off your pair valve. If you don't like any popping and gurgling and cracking on D-Cell, no problem. We can show you how to take care of that for a cheap, easy solution with a marble. Yeah, that's right, guys, a marble, a little ball. Stay with us. We got the ZX-10 in here all tore apart. We just installed the Sprint air filter, but I wanted to show you where we're gonna be doing this marble mod. Now, it's uh, as you can see, we've got the marble right here, and then we're gonna be taking this marble, lubing her up, and literally putting it in this vacuum hose, which comes on the air box. So see this nipple right here? Literally, all you got to do is slide that nip or the, the air hose off the nipple, lube this up, shove it down in the hole, and then shove this back up on there. We'll have that done here in just a second. I got to get Tucker's hands. Let's get him some lube. Here, you got oh, Tucker's going to use chain lube. Just a little bit of slip and slide there. That puts the marble a little farther down in there. And just like that, we have saved ourselves $60 and a, about an hour's worth of work from putting pair valve block off plates on. Now, the this modification is not a must, but it is a must if you don't wanna hear any popping and gurgling. This particular customer doesn't like the extra noise and Tucker's having a hard time with it, sliding it back on there, but anyways, once you slide this back on, it's 100% reversible modification. So if you ever wanted to take it back out and you wanted to get a little popping in modification, then all you got to do, pop your marble out, slide it back on there. However, it does change the tune 
from pair valve blocked off to not blocked off. So you would want to let us know in the notes for your ECU flash whenever you send the ECU in if you're going to block off the pair valve. And it doesn't matter if you do it with a marble or if you do it with the pair valve block off plates. We just got to know so we can tune it accordingly. Now, this is our factory exhaust system, the catalytic converter and mid pipe. We're going to be getting rid of all that junk and putting a M4 half system on here in just a second. Pretty easy installation process. Also too, this is the factory O2 sensor, it's right here. We will be having to unplug that. You can see we've already done that here, but the factory O2 sensor plug is right there. For those of you who have this bike, if you get an ECU flash, this is an absolute must that you unplug that factory O2 sensor. All right, guys, we got the bike loaded up on the dyno, all ready to go. This thing has 900 miles on it so far. Plenty of heat cycles in order, in order to let it rip. Yeah, that's right, guys. We're about to pull back on this thing and see what kind of power it makes. We got a Sprint P08 air filter, the Marble Mod, which doesn't add any horsepower, and an M4 slip-on with the baffle in it. So you see down in there, we got a little snap ring right here. The bike has a baffle slash DB killer, whatever you want to call it. In there, he wants to keep that in in order to keep it a little bit quieter. Let's see if that hurts our performance any. We're about to do the baseline pull in just a second. Here we go, baseline pull coming up. What do you think it's gonna make? I'm gonna say with the baffle in, 171. Let's see what we got. Actually, we already did. The baffle is out. You can see it there. 
Let's see what this baffle does for the performance. your buddies because you're definitely going to need to take it out when we took it out the thing picked up 12 horsepower at 7500 rpms you can't you can't give that up dude 12 horsepower that's too much to give up the customer said leave it out we gotta have the maximum horsepower he wants a ripper we're gonna get him a ripper boys stay with us we're gonna get more power just yet stay with us guys here we go all right, guys, we just finished up the dyno tune on the ZX-10. I definitely feel like it's safe to say the baffle belongs in the trash can. So we went from 180 horsepower to 195, and then look at the torque gains from 74 foot-pounds of torque to 81. And a lot of this stuff is at like 8,000 RPMs where you're gonna be on a, I guess you would say, an everyday basis. Now, you may not scream it all the way up here to 14,000 every time you ride it, but you're definitely gonna get it around this eight to 10 range, and you can see we got a huge gain. Now this is not from an ECU flash and tuning. I mean, of course it had that, but this is literally just taking the baffle out, in, out, in, out. And you can see we got some big results from 93 horsepower to 110 at 8,200 RPMs. You can't beat that. From 59 foot-pounds of torque to 70. That's a big smack in the back right there. So anyways, we ended up finishing up with 195 horsepower, 80, 180 horsepower is what we had to start with. All that was done at 13,500 RPMs. We're about to get the bike off the dyno, let the owner take it for a test ride and see what he thinks about it. Then he's gonna talk to you guys and let you know about his whole experience with the trip so far. All right, guys, he's pulling back up now on the ZX-10. Let's see what he thinks about this thing, what his initial reaction is, remember, 76 years old all the way from phoenix arizona and he's got a new zx10 i'm curious to see what he thinks about it after we added some extra splash to it how did it feel great it's like a new ride is it <laughs> i don't know there wasn't enough place to hit it hard it yeah hard. We don't, our, our, our yeah. Mexico streets aren't quite as big as we'd like for them to be around here. Yeah, no, but rode much smoother as far as just the on off throttle response? Yep. yep, yep good. Yep. Well, it's, uh, well, it's good. And not too loud with the baffle out? I don't think so. Yeah, no, okay. A lot of stuff around here to echo off of. Yeah, 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 so, for sure. I don't know. I think it's okay. So you ride out in the uh, ca canyons and mountains yeah. and stuff back at home? Yeah, yeah. I ride out away from town. I. Uh, I'm about an hour from the mountains where the copper mines are, so there's a lot of mountain roads that have very little traffic on them. Oh, cool. You just gotta watch for the, you know, you gotta watch the blind spots. And, yeah, yeah. You know, be sensible about it, but. Uh, Jump any cactuses so out you know. there? <laughs> we <laughs> no, don't have any cactuses around here, no, no desert. No, but I could, this would jump them, I think. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed yeah. your experience here overall. I have, it's been a great experience. It wasn't I too really far of a person. ride, right? It was not, it was not. I'd suggest it to anybody that's got the time. Well, good. I, I mean, actually all it costs you is a, is a little bit of gasoline. You gotta eat every day. 
Yeah, I mean, you, you got to do that stuff whether you're in Arizona or South it Carolina. It make any difference. It uh, was well, well worth the trip. I have no regrets. I'm well, very, good. Very happy. Very well, happy. Well, good. We're happy. And happy with my Kawasaki. There you go. This is the fourth one I've had. Fourth one? Fourth one. They've all See, been... Now, you said you raced, what, some top fuel, some drag bike stuff some back in the day? top fuel stuff in the 60s and 70s, yeah. Top fuel drag bikes in the 60s. This thing is probably just as fast. It is. It? It's almost, you fool with it a little bit, and it would be. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. It, the well, put it or put somebody like you on it to ride it, and it probably would be. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, comment, let Mr. Jim know how you glad that you he brought his bike for you to experience it today. Check out moremafia.com. We got brand new t-shirts. We got a lot of stuff in stock on the website that we just got in, new designs. Check those out, moremafia.com. If you got an ECU you want to send in to get flash, hit us up, moremafia.com. The ECU flashing page will give you all the details for what you need to do to send it in and get it done. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, and we'll see you next time.